The guilty pleasure of TikTok saga continues as we dive deep down a rabbit hole of absurd tools that we found. Yins have been tagging me in a bunch of ridiculous tools on TikTok that are getting millions of views. So I went ahead and bought a bunch. Ah, and not to mention this thing. Let's test them out. First thing we got is the simple strap. This sucker's got 1.7 million views and supposedly this should replace ratchet straps or could. Yeah, sell me on it. Let's go. Love it. Great beard. Cut wrap tuck. These are 20s. One wrap. Touch the second layer. Ooh, I can see why these would work and be a good tool. I'd be curious to see how these are when they get wet. They claim that they work really well. All right, that's a longer video. We got the straps. I've got a truck and a bunch of junk. Let's test it out. So first thing I'm gonna test, I just got a random bundle of stickers that we use on the sawmill. And stupid shit like this is not worth putting a ratchet strap on. So I think this might be a good use for like keeping these things tidy. We gonna find out though. So we'll strap these together. And we gotta find something absurd to put on my truck. They say that you can like cut it. So we don't need a ton. So some tension. Yeah, we're, we're we gotta cut this. <laughs> I don't need 20 feet. Like, I hate cutting it though. I'm, I'm one of those guys that like, if I buy something long, I tend to leave it long. Cause I, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna need that down the line. But always ends up like just being stupid. Stupid is, stupid does, sir. Okay, so we've got about, oh, probably four feet there. Tension and around. Okay, there's one. Tension around, two. I mean, now I can just do this. It says you just tuck it. You literally just do this, kind of, I guess. I mean, I will say they are together and like that is not that inconvenient. I mean, it is four tiny sticks. Let's see if your boy can break it. God, this is gonna be one of those stupid videos where it like just cracks me right in the nuts. I'm gonna fall over and we're gonna make a meme about it, isn't it? Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> All right, for the views, let's go. <laughs> the wood broke before the strap broke. It hit me in the face. But I mean, like, check that out. It, I'm, I'm impressed. Let's go strap some shit on the truck. So for the next, we're gonna test just a bunch of cutoffs. Cause I think this would most closely resemble like going to the store and buying random shit, which we could do, but I don't feel like it right now. We got this roof rack. Good, good. You know what? One, am I bleeding? Two. It would have been smart to bundle these together, then put them up on the truck. And you're bleeding a little. Yeah, you just have like a random bundle of shit. It's the perfect test. Can you grab me those strappies? Why is that being, like why is this shit not in the trash? No blood. So, I should just be able to grab it, kind of pull it. I mean, then what I typically do is wrap it around Come back over and like, will that hold? We're gonna find out. Cause we're gonna go joyride. Uses all 20 feet of it to hold down three two by fours. All 20 feet. Yeah. So like that, this is the goofy thing is like, I have these hooks and stuff on this. I mean, if I could just do that, you gonna work? I really like it for this application. I don't know if I like it to hold onto the roof rack, but only thing we can do now is rip some donuts. Final last words. You ain't going anywhere? Uh, -uh. maybe, I don't know. That came off already, off to a good start. Yeah, I don't think these are gonna be what I want for hold downs, but I do think they're gonna be pretty good for tucking shit together. Let's get squirrely. <laughs> I've never done donuts in this truck. They're holding on so far. Let's go. <laughs> I don't think they went anywhere. I'm more terrified about going in the retention pond, but all in all, the simple strap, I'm giving it a thumbs up. And these are definitely gonna go in my truck anytime I go to the store. Let's go try some more tools. Next, we've got this, which is a cordless pressure washer that ironically just showed up at the shop. Let's check this out. What the, f this dude's got a freaking Milwaukee battery on it. He's washing his car. Oh, I haven't used it yet. That's a pretty good amount of pressure. Sounds like it. Okay, well, shit. Let's grab a hose and let's go squirt some shit. <laughs> That's probably his water. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Jordan. He's so mad. So a couple cool features. One, it's got the whole quick release system. So put this sucker on the hose and also it's got a bunch of attachments. So I'm curious to see how much power it has considering it's uh, only battery powered. That's nice though. Just quick connect. Whew. Now this isn't gonna fucking work. So terrible. And I think all you do is just pull the trigger. That's not a lot of pressure. Oh, it's on low. How is not bad? Normally a pressure washer, we'd want to see like, can it scrub, say my door? Oh, 
not bad, not bad. I don't think it has like as much power as something with gas. It's got a 15 degree angle on it. We've also got a 40. Like that dude showed in the video, probably great for our vehicle. Not gonna take the paint off. And that's pretty good. We got this dirty ass machine. It's not peeling any paint. It isn't doing anything. <laughs> I mean, you can kind of see some of the dirt coming off. Get in there, get in there. It's convenient to not have the gas. The worst hose ever. I hate this hose. That's pretty rad. We've got a bunch of crap on our concrete. Let's see how that works. I'm a fan of no like generator. It like barely has enough balls to be used in like something like that. You could clean your driveway, but I don't think you're gonna get like stains and stuff off of it. I don't think it has the power for that, but it is super convenient in that regard, like not having gasoline and all that BS. Who knows? Maybe someday if we buy a shop truck, we'll clean it with this sucker. I like it though. Definitely worth the views. Next, we got this sucker, which cost me like $400. It's called the Neil It, and we've got 8.3 million views on this thing. 8.9, my goodness. Oh, wow. It's for my favorite thing ever, working on the floor. I love working on the floor. This should be pretty nice. Ooh, that looks ergonomic as hell. That looks awesome. Let's get the sucker open. Boy, look at this packaging. Oh, no wonder it costs $400. You got served that? Enjoy your Neil It. Visit NeilIt.com warranty register. I don't like the color. It looks like, like lime sherbet. I don't mind that it's a little femme. I just feel like that's gonna get so dirty. <laughs> it looks futuristic. It's definitely one of those things that like someone that did this job once and was like keen on a 3D printer was like, I got an idea. Ingenuity. All right, directions. We gonna wing it. Buying a $400 rollerblade for work. Okay, and I think the rest of it just kind of pins together from the looks of the video, right? So these are pinned, they roll out, right? Aha, uh -huh. looks like these go in your ends and then now you go up through and then Penny Magoo. That's pretty smart, actually. I like that design. Looks like. Oh, this probably sits right there, so flip it. Yeah, but this has this pin back here. Yeah, the pin probably sits up. If only they made probably very nice legible directions. Okay, now what? This, these just kind of swivel in here. Ooh, and they're adjustable, adjustable if you're chubby or wide-legged or chubby and wide-legged. Imagine if we had these when we were kids. Even better, we got them when we're 40. Okay, ooh, that's adjustable. I mean, it is nice, I gotta say. Ah. So I mean like, <laughs> I mean, it's different for sure, but if you're like hammering down a flooring, everybody's good now. If you're doing flooring or something, I can easily see how awesome this would be. I love the little seat to like rest between things. Here. Try it out, Jordan. You're definitely like midget small guy size. Oh. Wow, wow. Yeah. I like playing hockey. It was like 400 bucks. Yeah. If you do this for a living though, that's probably a killer investment. It pushes in. I don't think you're supposed to sit and scoot. I think you sit then scoot. Like sit, now scoot. I dig it. I think it's awesome. If you're working on the floor or you're in construction and you're down on the ground all the time, A plus, love that one. Lastly, Coming in at 13.8 million views, we've got the Gator Tape. Gator don't play no shit. I'm not gonna lie. I think this is some gimmicky ass shit. It's just used to pull like inside measurements without like adjusting a tape measure, but this video is, oh man, so sad. 13.8 million, like look how, let's get out of the package. Love a plastic wrap, like Satan's packaging. So I did order it in Freedom Units. The video has it in whatever the hell that other thing's called. And uh, I mean, that's kind of cool, but look how big it is <laughs> compared to a normal tape measure. It's got this like swingy arm. I'm not gonna lie. Compared to like your standard steel tape, it feels pretty cheap. Like, like, like that it's, Real rat, and most tape measures are, I don't know. Come here, Jordan, feel it. I thought they were like electric. I thought the person just like shot it out. Doesn't it feel cheap in your hand? Wait, do you measure here? Yeah. <laughs> Not right? I don't trust that. You can use it as like a normal tape. Uh, it's for like interior measuring? Yeah. Um, who does that? We do, you clown. So like, look, <laughs> if we're like, we're doing this. You go like this, 
and then you mark it and you know perfectly you're right at you know 19 and 17 16 which is pretty cool but he, but the thing is like you could you could pull that same thing over here that has the zero play the zero play but i mean that's that's 20. so you can get the same thing like 14 million let's find a good application so if you're doing like a cabinet door and you want to get like an interior measurement or something it's super specialty weirdly 20 inches again i think it would be nice for that no belt clip pull it i think it's 25 feet 16 that's all. 16 so it's short i'll say this i really like the color i love the, i like that green on the black is high vis and uh i don't like it if you're like you're going out and you're wearing a rocking like a lime green t-shirt look like you're on a construction crew you damn kids these days i like that the, the bottom doesn't have anything on it i feel like it's a little bit cheap Unless you're like, it's super specialty. I don't really know if this one's uh, this one's worth it, guys. Probably gonna give this one a no. Sorry, Gator. So between the tens of millions of views that these things got, gotta say, awesome, awesome, awesome. I definitely would suggest anyone that's doing DIY or any projects snag that up. Only one I didn't really like was the Gator tape. I guess if you have a specific need, that would be for you. And that's gonna be a wrap on this one. If you guys wanna see me do more ridiculous things from TikTok or wherever, text that number on the screen. And then I put together a killer playlist of more viral TikTok stuff for you right here. Check that out.